bars I told him to take a leave when I take your life. Now I pay him his women for messing with his wife. Billy Lyle said, fuck it. What's a boy to do? I got my gun and five bullets. It won't take but a few. This is my home. I live oh, right here. Oh, really? Um, so this is Organic Wick, um, which happens every Saturday. Um, so it's like, yeah, yeah, every single Saturday. So we're just opening it up to the festival this weekend. Um, but yeah, it's just a local local veg box scheme. Um, so fruits, all organic fruits, vegetables, all seasonal, all British. Um, yeah, that's Organic Wick. I've lived in Hackney Wick for like four years um, in this house. Um, and I've been doing this since uh, February this year. Um, it's been run by like three different people in Hackney Wick so okay. far. Um, so it's kind of been passed on from different groups. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's kind of nice. It's kind of like got a bit of a family feel about it. I'm actually leaving soon. I'm really sad to be leaving, oh, okay. um, but it's a perfect place to live. Uh -huh. like, I was really lucky to actually end up living here. It's completely by chance and accident, but um, okay. it's great. It's really friendly, really open, really nice vibe. So two years ago, it was crazy. It was yeah. like absolutely nuts. Um, there's just loads of people, really beautiful during the day, really busy. And then, you know, obviously there are parties in the evening and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this year, because it was cancelled last year, everyone's a bit like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be, yeah, what's going to happen? Like, so it's, no one really knows. Uh, it's Reclamation Nation. It's a screen printing workshop that's being carried out right now in Star Space today and tomorrow. Uh, completely free, yeah. Drop in anytime. Um, they're also doing some other events uh, within the space, so they've got another lino cut uh, workshop as well. So, you know, printing the slogans to, to make your voice known, really. in here three years ago was the, right in the middle of the festival and we were having to there's a big party in this yard and we were trying to move our stuff through it and that was the first I knew about it really. it was a nightmare <laughs> it's quite funny trying to move mattresses through a whole group of people trying to dance and it was a good a good start to the <laughs> to the whole thing almost like a small town but you're still in London it's kind of slightly separated by the way it's surrounded by the canals and it's kind of hard to find if you don't really know it's here very different to like other places in london because you can you're walking down the street and you're saying hello to people in the labs.
So this is um, our Eurex site. So we're exchange projects, and we've created um, this site in a kind of this abandoned yard. And when we arrived here, there was like 30 palm trees over there in this abandoned beach, left over from this Riviera thing for the, to draw in the Olympic crowd. And so yeah, we've well, basically the site, if you come over here, it's about around the themes of settlement, shelter, land and communication. So we've been here for five days and we're using different structures to kind of get people having conversations about these themes. Mm-hmm. And uh, also kind of like, I don't know, like displaced communities. So a lot of artists have been displaced from different areas and a lot of different people have been shifting around this area of London. So you can see we've got a yurt over there. We've got different structures made different ways. So it's geodesic dome and a lot of sculptures and kind of interactive work. Um, last year we ran Hackney Wick Education and we had a site in Queen's Yard. And um, yeah, we've been doing it for like at least the last three Hackney Wickets. This is our, our info sheet. I'm just going to put them out. So we've only really just open for the day, so we're expecting people to come. Tomorrow there's going to be a rowing boat performance on the river and kind of orchestra performance. So there'll be a lot of things. Hi! <laughs> I, I've just been here making um, some sculptures out of found objects for the last few days. Um, and generally that's what everybody's been doing here. Um, so basically people have descended on the site and, and built kind of domes and vehicles and, and, and structures out of found objects really. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, so we're working here with uh, London clay. Uh, so this particular clay comes from uh, Tottenham Court Road, which is the main shopping area, and it's a waste product. So what we do is we turn it into art projects, buildings. Uh, so what we're doing here today is there's a canal boat uh, over there, and uh, we're using the clay to sculpt the inside. And then we're going to put um, a pipe attached to a stove, and then the, the benches that we're sculpting will be heated. So um, the boat itself is a, an art project, a community art project. So uh, we have Nemi and Charlie and they're our first artists and they're going to spray the artist canvas that we have um, on the outside of the, of the canal boat. So basically it's, it's called a permaculture boat. It's, we're trying to get it completely off grid and it will be for anybody to come and use, um, to come and be inspired and also to connect the various community groups around the canal system in London brilliant way of people coming out on a Sunday and a Saturday. Um, the area has more artists than anywhere in London. And um, so if you look around this space, we've just created amazing things uh, with rubbish and waste. And so um, it's about creating and not consuming. So I think um, Hackney Wicked, festival of creation, not consumption. Um, it wasn't on last year for the Olympics. Mm. It's just, there's always a really good atmosphere here and it's a chance to see in some of the studios. Mm. But it's just fantastic. It's just a shame, unfortunately, the weather's not a little bit nicer. Because mm-hmm. there's usually a really good street atmosphere and the studios are open, the art, and there's some nice food. This year it's quieter than it has been before. But it's, I think it's more focused on the art, which I like. I mean, maybe some people would prefer it's a bit more like a sort of street party, mm-hmm. but I think this is this Why great. do you think it's quieter? I think it's been made to be quieter. I think it was getting quite sort of out of control 
So now I think the idea is that by, by having it more focused over at the Queen's Yard and then something here, it's slightly more split, but we haven't been over there yet, so we don't know what that's like, we will go. This is, I've been in the studio five, six years, yeah. Before that I was in just off Mayor Street in Hackney. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, this is where I work. So it's tidy today, yeah, it's very tidy. Yeah, I sort of, you know, I, I work in layers of wood. Mm -hmm. you know, build it up and, and carve it down. It's, it's more, um, the works are more en engineered rather than, sculpt rather than sculpted, mm -hmm. you know, so. So I usually have a clear idea of what 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 I want. These are the tem templates, mm -hmm. yeah, which I which I use, and uh, so I'll design a piece. The idea was that I just want a piece that would open and close, yeah, mm -hmm. and so from those very simple I ideas, the work takes shape. You work in your studio alone most of the time, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's good because you know it lets the community know we're here, yeah, which is one 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 thing. And uh, yeah, you get a whole new audience, you know, 99% of the people I've never seen before. So yeah, it's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. The best part of the festival, my sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 this bill, building, they used to print banknotes here and stamps. And there's an old um, safe here where, you know, where they used to keep the plates. So this building is quite you, uh, you, unique, you know, in that sense, yeah. Used to belong to Waterloo and Sons, in fact, yeah, yeah, who make our coins and banknotes and stamps. Well, across the roads, they, they've been studios for about 40 years, and I think here about 10. We just hope that, you know, the one thing that's always thre thre threatening an area like this is, you know, the flats, people, you know, moving in, the place becomes live work, then it becomes live, then you lose lose those light industrial spaces, you know, which is a shame, which is what happened to my last studio, it's now a luxury apartment, you know. It becomes trend, trendy, yeah, which is what's beginning to happen around here, you know, but I think this is the last bastion for, I don't think it's much further east we can go, you know, yeah, it's good. I knit, I knit anything. I knit um, samples for designers and accessories. I am needles for hire. It's a, it's a funny thing to do. It's, um, it's a little bit of a scary thing to have people come in and you know, it's kind of like your home. It's a precious little thing and you have lots of machines and <laughs> things that um, are, are delicate. And, and so it's, it's lovely to be able to show people and um, everyone's always interested. In, in that but it's also scary it's also like you know giving something like something for a tribe oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's nice because uh, you know a lot of people don't don't realize how how it works and and that there are people that do something like mm -hmm. 
knitting. These are our machines that were made just after World War II. They stopped making them. Um, they're manual machines, mechanical machines. Um, there's two beds and the beds are all full of these little latch hook needles which catch the yarn as the carriage goes by. I'll show you a little bit here. We select some needles. We have a little comb. This is the, the carriage, the knitting carriage. And I'll pick up a yarn here. And as I move the carriage across, the needles are pushed out and caught and they, they catch the yarn as it goes by. And as I go back, we have kind of our first row of knitting. Well, I mean, I'm interested in painting. I'm as a painter, an abstract work. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to enter into the qualities of the material paint mm -hmm. and any depth perception in there as well. I'm interested in people entering into the painting, both in their perceptions through their mind and their vision, and also possibly their physicality. So when you get lost through it, there's a kind of spatialism in it as well, which offers up a, an abstract narrative. So I would hope that the, the viewer would then try and create whatever they wish from it, a feeling, an emotion, uh, maybe hints at memories. Uh, kind of the painting affects some kind of feeling or emotion or response from the viewer. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what I'm initially trying to do. And enjoy it. I love paint. It's a wonderful thing to be involved in. It's got a good physicality to it. It's very fluid and colour. I love colour. You know, it's not a gallery, so there's this temptation to be as a, a gallery situation, but it's not. It's an open studio for people to see how the working practices of artists and see what functions around us to perpetuate this kind of work being made. And I think that's really good because people get an insight into the hard work, the different ways that we have to work elsewhere to come and make the work and, and try and survive you know, in, in, in the culture today to make visual pieces. And, and, and yeah, bring it all together. I like, I like this kind of, it's got a feeling this year that there's something much bigger going on. There's something building. It's, a, it's an art festival. It's been secured as that notion as well, uh, above anything else. And I think that containment and about being, uh, about the arts, I think is a great idea. And I think that will draw people to this area and all the artist studios. And it's quite big, mm -hmm. I think. It's, uh, I think it's, um, mm -hmm. It sounds like this year it's got a voice, but after the few years building up now, it feels like it's, it's got an established voice. So, and there's not many, I don't think, that have this kind of size of area of um, concentration of artists that can have a festival, an, an arts festival, kind of serious one for a weekend. But it feels good. Mm -hmm. Working in collage at the moment, which is quite new to me, and um, yeah, everything is just work in progress. So nothing is permanent, and I'm kind of 
do a lot of cutting and look for images that strike a chord with me or that um, portray different concepts that are in my mind and then um, just keep constantly moving them a lot of people but then landscape also and sometimes political themes will come into it or there'll be a thread of maybe a political story or figure um, I think there's quite a bit of sexual content as well no I didn't I didn't plan on opening I came here last year before I had a studio and I met lots of people which was great you know just to see what they were doing and here when I'm working people are always working behind closed doors so you don't often get to meet each other so it's good for that and um, yeah, I just got here today, but last night was really good. I met some interesting people and had some good feedback. And, and then today is just crazy, like trying to walk in the yard and the stairs is just massive. So yeah, no, it's great. You know, I think the artists and the, the community as well are really lucky to have it. Yeah. yeah, it's really, it's changed a lot in the last couple of years, I think. Well, I've only been here for a year and a half, but I've heard and I've seen, even the last year has developed so much. But yeah, it's really exciting what's happening. Again, there's a, a lot of things happening behind closed doors. So you, you're not always aware of, even in this yard, I wasn't aware of um, everything that was going on or across the street. So yeah, it's, it's really good to, to create that awareness. It's wonderful and glorious and um, everything, every level, from, from total indulgent incompetence to really highly skilled. But often the incompetence is more fun than anything else. It's sort of a bit of the centre of the universe at the moment, I suppose, because I suppose if you're looking to put on a festival, it might be in Great Britain, and it might be in London, it might be in the East End of London, and at the moment, that's this spot in Peckham Rye, I suppose those are the two bits. So, it's good to be here in Hackney Wick. Um, well, it, wa it was, uh, as you can see from Battleway, an, an industrial area um, between the wars. As the whole of Hackney was, it was still industrial before World War I. And then between, well, between the two wars, it began to fade and crumple. There was a huge furniture industry, you know, sort of semi-handmade furniture, going back to the 19th century. And as the firms moved out, um, as always, uh, they weren't well maintained, and that's when artists move in, because you can get it very, very cheap, or sometimes free, and it's a big space, so the space is like somebody's mind. You know, you can fill it with what you want. The artists saw themselves, as they grow older, gentrifying in a way, if they're successful. If they're not successful, then they're probably teaching, so that's a form of gentrification. It's unavoidable. And then the artists uh, move on, the next generation moves on somewhere else. And when I was um, your age, perhaps, it was Chelsea and so on. And one could live in, not industrial premises, but really sort of quite run-down um, ex-council houses and places like that and move in and, and that gradually has pushed everything out as well. I mean, it was out by the 70s, I suppose. So which is the next area? Still going east, I think, but um, you know, people are finding little patches. Mm. And we looked when Jenny took over this studio, which as you probably know is run by Space that has studios all over London. She had a studio in Peckham. First of all, that was too far because we live very near to here and then here. Um, but, but at that stage, the, you know, the, the, the rents are quite subsidised. I mean, so this is very cheap. Mm. At least it's very cheap for somebody of my age or my wife's age who've now got you know, a bit of income and pensions. Not so cheap for an art student. Mm. We looked for where, because we're both over 60, where our Freedom Pass would carry us. Where was the edge of London and could we find a shed or two sheds there, 
and it, uh, though the edge of London is mostly suburbs and that's not very good for artists because people don't like things being ramshackle and untidy and messy. Um, so I don't know which bit of the east you'll have to go look. Mm, yeah, beyond beyond Cockfosters anyway. <laughs> I'm in Morocco as well, and from Hackney. So it's it's good to have a space to go and work outside home because we used to work at home. But you know things like that are not you know, very good to make at home. Mm -hmm. And it's been a good experience. It's a nice community around here. Almost you know like-minded people. But you know that's one way to say it. It's just people who are dedicated to what they're doing. I think that kind of fits with one another and that's it i think the festival is wonderful yeah and i hope you'll keep going <laughs> <laughs>